Our Lady of Les Salettes, France. In 1846, two children named Maximin Gerard and Melanie Calvet were returning from a mountain in Les Salettes, France, after tending to their cows, when they saw a beautiful lady appear to them, weeping with her face in her hands and clothed in a white robe studded with pearls, and a gold-colored apron, white shoes and roses about her feet and high headdress. She wore a crucifix suspended by a necklace from her neck. The message of Our Lady was the conversion of the entire world. Her devotees were mainly of 19th century rural France, but saints, such as Saint John Vianney, called upon her for intercession regularly. Saint John Paul II explained that she is a timeless representation of Mary, desperately encouraging us toward deeper prayer, conversion, and commitment to God. Our Lady of Lourdes, France Likely one of the most beloved and well-known of the Marian apparitions, young Bernadette Sabiris who was uneducated and poor, saw a beautiful lady standing near a wasteland where Bernadette and her sister were gathering firewood. February 11, 1858 was the first of several apparitions at Lourdes, where Mary revealed herself to Bernadette as the Immaculate Conception, a dogma of the church that was entirely unfamiliar to Bernadette. This added to the credibility of the vision. As the Immaculate Conception, Mary was dressed in white, bearing a golden rosary and blue belt around her waist with two golden roses at her feet. After much controversy over these ongoing apparitions, they were eventually approved by the church. Lourdes is a popular pilgrimage site and has been known to possess healing waters, where many miracles have been attributed to Our Lady's intercession.